In this video, I'm going to show you how to add images, shapes, and other objects into Google Slides. I'll demonstrate this on blank slides, but this will work on slides with any template background. Uh, just make sure you like the way it looks, uh, but this gives me the freedom to not have to worry about that in the tutorial. We'll begin by learning how to add images to a Google Slide Deck. Most of the things you may want to insert, you're going to find under the Insert menu at the top. All right, so if we click on the Insert menu, we'll see images, text box, audio, video, shape, table, chart, diagram, word art, line, comments, which is more for a different video. So let's learn how to insert images. So if we hover over images, we have several choices here. We can either upload an image from our computer, search the web, or if we have an image on Drive or in Photos, or know the URL, or just want to take one with our camera and insert it immediately. Uh, we have a number of options here. Just pick the one you like. I'm going to search the web. And let's search the web for pictures of slides. All right, so there's the one with the uh, Google logo for slides. And there's also the one that you might see on a playground but I like this one because it's not what I expected to see, so I'm going to insert that. All right, so here I have a picture of somebody wearing slides, and once the image is inserted, I can change its dimensions. Uh, there's another, a bunch of different formatting options we can have for the image. Size, rotation, position. We can recolor it, make other adjustments. Uh, change its transparency, brightness, the contrast. We can even add a drop shadow uh, and even add a reflection to it to get some very neat visual effects uh, on our Google Slides. To add shapes, uh, you can go to insert shape and then you'll notice that there's four different options here. Shapes, you can get rectangles, rectangles with rounded edges. There's a bunch of different shapes that you can insert. Like images, once you insert one of these shapes, you'll have a bunch of different options for formatting it. So you can add shapes, arrows, callouts, equations, although I'm not sure I would recommend equations. There's better ways to do that in Google Slides. So let's just pick a shape. So let's pick, uh, let's see, a lightning bolt. All right, so now that I have my lightning bolt, if I select that, I should be able to change the interior color. Gray lightning bolts don't make a lot of sense. Let's make that lightning bolt yellow. And then we can adjust its size. We can rotate it if we don't like the angle that it's at. Move it wherever we'd like, either side. Uh, it all depends on what you want. So that's how you can add different shapes. And there's a bunch of other objects you can insert to Google Slides as well. You can add text boxes. Some of the slide templates that you may be using don't have text boxes already in them. That's okay because you can add a text box to any slide that you want so you can insert text if it isn't already, if it isn't already there. Uh, if you have an audio or video file that you'd like to insert into a slide, you can do that as well. You can add charts of data or diagrams to illustrate a flow chart. Uh, you can add word art to add some pop to your text. Uh, and you can even add lines, which can be lines or arrows, or uh, you can connect two elements with connectors. You can draw curves, a polyline, which is really just drawing a polygon. Uh, and then scribble, which is basically you just drawing on the screen. So there's a lot of different ways uh, to insert different objects into Google Slides, a lot of different things that you can insert and make your slides uh, present a little bit better. 